that you look at with these teams heading into the tournament. I know, of course, everybody's going to talk about a point guard, you know, guys that can create their own shots, big men that are going to tower over the rest. When you're going through each one of these teams and evaluating them, what type of basketball are you looking that they play that's going to stand out, that's going to make for a longer tournament run? Good question, Grace. Sound like a coach, very cerebral. You must be reading. No, up. Don't, don't stop. <laughs> don't go there, coach. I made up for don't it. Don't go I'm there, coach. Up too much. It'd be tough to live with. You think, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> I want to be a part of the analysis group. <laughs> <laughs> Take my job. You'd probably do a better analyst than me. But, uh, uh, it's a good question. I think something that people don't talk about: a team that's won on the road. You know, a team that has a good road record in conference play. You know, winning close games. <clears throat> And a, and a veteran coach, a coach who's been there before, you know, who is, you know, well-respected uh, in regular season and the tournament play. So somebody who's won in tough, adverse situations, you know, in, in close games. Uh, if you went on the road in conference play, no matter what conference you're in, that's that's very, very telling. Uh, you know, and as you mentioned, point guard's important, and, and uh, you got to be able to make shots, too. you got to be able, you know, somebody can knock down three. So, and, you know, a good inside and outside game. The team is just one-dimensional you just live with the three. Well, it's tough to win five or six games in a row if you're just, you know, launching 28, 30 threes like, like some schools do, like Villanova. And I love their team. Jay Wright's a great guy. He's a, a you know, friend of mine. Uh, but I don't know, can you win six games shooting threes the way they do? Because they don't have a consistent inside game. So, um, I, I, you know, I, I think the team is balanced inside and outside and who has proven that they have won on the road. Conference play. Oh, you're asking for a lot now. Come on, coach. <laughs> Listen, uh, what do you make of Duke? Uh, they, they have a big lead versus Louisville. Uh, they lose that uh, game. They allow Louisville to come back and, and, and win. And of course, Louisville has banned itself from postseason play. But Duke, up and down season for them, ranked, unranked, then ranked again. Well, a lot of young guys. Their, their point guard, Derek Thornton, I, I coached uh, at a uh, uh, Reebok camp a couple of summers ago, and he's an outstanding player, but He's younger. He should still be in high school. You know, he, he, um, you know, moved up his academics and he graduated a year early. Brandon Ingram is an outstanding player. He's not real physical. So I don't know. Can he go deep in the tournament? Can he play, you know, back to back, you know, two games in three days, a couple of times? So <clears throat> they're unpredictable. I think they're going to make a, a run once again, you know, coach K and he gets breakfast in bed a lot of times with the referees. You know, he gets ex-Benedict. <laughs> you know. So, you know, it helps him a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, no, Duke's got a terrific team. You know, they're, uh, you know, athletic, but just not physical. Their front line is a little shaky. they got to do, you know, uh, rebound a little bit better. So against a team like an Oklahoma or, or West Virginia uh, uh, or a Kansas, I think Duke would have trouble. Gio and Jones with Pete Gillen talking some college hoops on CBS Sports Radio. If you could change one thing 